Right, so today we have um, we've collected a load there in, uh, in Letter Kenny, Donegal, and we're going to go to Holland with it. Uh, Austria will be up very soon. I have it all um, off this now, and I have it all well. I'm, I have it all on the computer now, so I'm going to put it together this evening. But um, sorry about the delay. But uh, so on, we're, we're just driving, drew, driving through rural uh, Lifford here, heading for Castle Blaney. We'll go to Blaney first, and then we got to get the trailer looked at because she's throwing up um, faults, EBS and ABS faults on the trailer. Like normally, a little trick that I normally do is that I was taught by a man I used to work with in Dixon's Johnny. He taught me there. Um, when there's something wrong, like that, throw a bit of WD-40 over the connections and normally it'll clear the the, um, the errors or malfunctions on the uh, on the Susie's that it's causing, or that's causing it, but, but this stage didn't work so I have to try and use uh, something else. So, Castle Blaine is on the way back to the yard, or on the way to Dublin, so I said look I'll pull in there, get that looked, I need to get a new lock as well. Um, somebody misplaced theirs and they decided to steal mine when my truck was parked so well I won't say steal that's a harsh word we'll say borrow mine when my truck was parked so not being weird but I don't stand for theft of goods out of a lorry out of a shop or anything and all of that that's fair enough but not out of somebody's truck you don't steal out of somebody's lorry I was here years ago, I think. 33k from Alma. Not a whole lot to, to look at around here, it's just the usual countryside. And now we're in Shaban, so we're in the north now. Well, not in the north, we're already up the northern area, but we're, in the, we're over the border. Just trying to find a place to pull in and get a mug of tea or something. As soon as we get onto the A5 here, the A5 will bring us all the way down to uh, the other side of the border and it'll bring us right down to where we need to go. There's an Asda over there, wouldn't you? You gotta come up with hay over there, would you? I wonder. Got a bit of food last night for the uh, for a wee bit of cooking. I had to buy a new plate and a new um, a new pan because I burnt the arse out of my old pan. So. I had to go and replace that yesterday and um, I made myself a little fry last night nothing major and trying to stay off all of that type of food and trying to eat a bit better but uh, it would be good for making eggs you know um, Luke um, Vernon when he was making all the videos he made a very good video about how to make a delicious egg breakfast with them um, eggs and toast and duck eggs so I'm gonna chance my arm on it because it looked tasty and it looked like something I definitely eat and I do like eggs I don't love them as much as he loves them now but I do like eggs they're tasty scrambled or poached I wouldn't have them like sunny side up and just fried you know that way so situation is is that we just get up the road here and get on to um, or so I get into Castlevania safely. We're gonna get the trailer looked at. I get the it's either the lines or it's the trailer. I'd say it's the trailer, that's the problem. And um we'll uh, get the trailer looked at. Get diesel, we'll diesel up in Monaghan. We won't bother dieseling in Dublin because it's just too much shit to go all the way into Oh no, it is up today actually. 
I'll diesel up today, that's what I'll do, I'll diesel up today. And I'll show you how to uh, do the diesel. The, um, what you call it? Yeah, <laughs> I stopped dying of a cold. <coughs> I'll show you how to do the diesel for uh, new drivers that aren't too sure about how to diesel up a lorry. And um, the likes of that, I'll show you how to do it. There's a way of doing it, and um, you have to do it right, putting in your car details, your mileage, your. Um, the pump. <laughs> Putting in the mileage, putting in the pin, the pump. I won't show you the pin, obviously, but I'll show you the mileage. I'll show you what you need to select and whatever else. Just look, I know some people say, ah, oh, there's no point in showing us. We all know how to fill up. Some people don't, in fact, know how to fill up. So I'll show them how to do that. So that's, a, that's what I'll do today. So for the time being, we'll look at a couple of hedges. All housing estate and some beautiful hills. Right, so it's early morning. It's uh, 07.27, um, local time in the UK here. We just got off the boat from Liverpool there and we're heading for uh, Dover. Uh, I'd say we get down as far as Warwick. Warwick services for a 45 minute break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 15 minutes somewhere along the way and then sorry take a half an hour further down uh, just to break up the journey but you know that's what I'm gonna do I had 11 hours on that boat so I'm an hour behind myself in time because I need to get down here for tomorrow to where I'm going now by the end of the day I'll be in Belgium uh, will I be in Belgium yeah I will be but as a matter of fact no, I won't be. Hold on. Yes, I will. By the end of the day, I'll be, I'll be in Belgium. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get as far into Belgium as I can with the time that I have to um, to uh, what's this? I'm not holding it. It's very early. Yeah, sorry. I'll get as far into Belgium as I can with the little time that I, that I will have left because by the time it's five hours from Liverpool to um, Dover now I could cut that journey in half well not in half but I could take a lump off that journey if I wanted by going down the A2 which would bring me right into Dover town but I don't know if I will or not I'll see, I'll see how close I get but I want to get as far as I can anyway I don't know if I'm going the boat or the train yet. I'm still awaiting instruction from the office as to what I'm doing. So I have to wait up. So for the time being, we're just going to get down as best we can. Now, when it fogs, and as you can see, it's starting to get very foggy. And in England, if they see the slightest bit of rain or fog, everything slows down. So I have that to take into account as well. That it will be slow in some points in the journey. But um, we get a we get a um, we get a forty five at work if we can. If not, sure we'll just keep on. We, we, we'll we'll get one wherever we need one. It's not an issue. You need to park. You need to park. End of you know. But it's not the nicest of mornings to drive. I'll say that. But look, sure, had the job. The um, we're looking at. Um, If I get into, if I get over, as far as, say if I get down as far as I can, I'll take a 45 minute break. That'll leave me about an hour then. I'll have about an hour from where I need to go, or half an hour from where I'm going. Sorry, from where I take the break to Dover, depending if I'm getting the train or the boat. Now if I get the train, it'll only be 20 odd minutes away, but Dover will be another, it'll be another 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers. On me, so it'll be the guts of another 45 minutes on top of that if I have to go for the boat, you know. So, M62 Warrington, no, look at 
we go Warrington direction. Um, so we get that for that 40 odd minutes extra, you know. So we'll try and we'll try and hope we get the train. And if we get the train, we get off at of Calais. And Calais within the train, then the train. I don't know if I bother taking a, another break on it. So we put her onto rest mode and just get as far as we can, I suppose. That's what I'll do actually, I'll, I'll put her onto uh, rest mode and get as far as we can within our 9 hour daily driving time. Looks like the UK has experienced some snow there recently but the look of it there in the fields. Just as you look out there, um, I haven't got the best of uh, coverage of it there because there's not a whole lot of it but you can see it here on the embankments here. Just as there's a bit of snow had fallen over maybe the last night or two. Because it's saying on the um, on the computer here in the truck, not a poor sheep would be frozen. Aww. But <clears throat> the um, the computer here in the truck is saying she's two degrees, which is freezing according to the computer. It's not actually freezing, but it's very damn cold. I wouldn't fancy walking home in two degrees. Oh, there's the office there now. That's um, that's my information for um, for the uh, for my shipping details as to what way I'm going out. I'd say. So please God, now we get the boat. But look, it doesn't bother me either way. As I said, we'll see what happens. My makeshift tripod is what my phone is sitting on. You now the phone itself is actually showing a. Uh, it's saying recording at the minute. That's connected to this GoPro camera here that I'm using. That's what I'm recording my videos with on uh, 1080p at uh, 30 frames per second on a GoPro Hero 5 that's what I'm using as a as a, um, a camera now I still have my other camera as well and my dash cam you can still see she's sitting down there they're all used that I'm using for footage but um, this is what I'm using a GoPro Hero 5 plus white edition I think it's called hold on look at the front yes white edition Hero 5 GoPro uh, I got it in Holland for a quarter of the price what you pay at home, so I was happy. Or was it Holland? No, it wasn't, I tell a lie. It was Super U in France I bought it. Uh, uh, beside some beautiful little town where I took some pictures of a really nice church. That place is where I bought it. But anyway, so far so good. But uh, the weather, it is, uh, it is cold and we could expect snow during the day. You wouldn't know uh, over here. But anyway, as I was saying, the makeshift tripod is what my phone is sitting on at the minute, which is connected to this GoPro. And um, the uh, you can probably see it there. It's just a simple setup. Just a, it's just a wooden ML car mount jokes, but it's got a sticky back on it that you can use for mounting the likes of a tablet, or a phone, a cell phone, or a mobile phone, or whatever you want to call them. Or a camera, or a twat nav, or as I call it, a sat nav. Um, you can use it for that. So that's what I'm going to use there now from here on in. If if it works out, it works out. You know. That's the story. Speak to you on my half an hour. Now I have a choice here. Um, if I wanted to go the M6 toll, or if I wanted to just stay in the normal M6. Now the M6 toll will cost me uh, £8.60, which is about €15. Euro, or near enough to it. Um, I don't think I'll bother wasting my money or my time going down the M6 toll. But the M6 toll is always clear, there's never traffic. Are, what I could do is I could get down the A5 onto the A14 head for Northampton Kettering and then try and find the A2 from there but then that's just roundabouts and roundabouts and roundabouts and then more delays and crap so I think I may just stick to the motorways but uh, we just have to see what happens you know A5 North Wales Telford Cannock Wolverhampton no I could now, I could sit down now, the A5 will run parallel to the M6 toll nearly, but well, most of the way it will. Will I bother? No, I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to stick to the way I'm going because this will bring me down onto the 42, then the 40, onto the 25, onto the 20. 
yeah, that's it. I'll just stick where I am because um, I'm not in a major rush. I'm not due there till uh, till Monday, which is tomorrow. But I won't be like it'll it'll probably be the day after. By the time I get there, though, with taking breaks and whatnot as well, you know. We we'll just have to see how we go with time and whatnot as well. So. But I gotta definitely try and get to uh, to Warwick anyway. If I get to Warwick and get a half an hour break there, I'll be doing all right. I have two hours forty five minutes um, left on the card, and uh, old Deirdre here, the sat nav, is telling me it'll take me three hours and forty one to get there to to Dover. Now, as you recently saw, I got it, or as you heard, I got information back from the office as to what way I'm shipping, which is going to be the boat. I have the boat, so I'm delighted. Now, I have a choice to go uh, DFDS or P&O. Now, DFDS would be my favourite because there's not as many on it. But DFDS is dearer for food, considering it's a short trip, you have to pay on it. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but look, sure, what can you do? But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, get ourselves some breakfast as well. I'm getting hungry. Getting very hungry.